What is up YouTube? Long time no vlog for me. Just been busy working. <clears throat> but today, since the weather's changing outside, which everybody knows, fall is coming. <clears throat> I'm more of a summer person, not looking forward to the snow, the rain, or anything like that. So today I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my boosted board out because I got those extra batteries on it. I'm gonna see how far I can really go with all the batteries I have. I rode with some guys the other day. They told me about a trail that I haven't been on yet. So I thought I'd go check it out. So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna charge, make sure all my boosted board batteries are charged up. There's my extra batteries. You can see it charges off the boosted charger. You just simply plug that in down there. And I have another set of these right over here. I got these from Vitali on portable electric vehicle. And I have put, let's see, I think when I got those from him, I had roughly, sorry, cleaning up my mess. Uh, I had roughly about 300 miles on my board. And now I'm over 830 miles. So that means I've had those batteries, you know, been running these batteries these external batteries off and on, you know, the whole time, whether it was that set or this set, I kind of go in between them. It just depends on which ones I have charged. But I've, you know, 500 and some odd miles on it, zero problems. And I tell you what, it is nice being able to cruise around on my electric skateboard and not have to worry about, oh crap, where am I gonna charge? Am I gonna have enough battery to get there or anything like that? So I'm gonna hit the shower while I finish charging this up. We'll see how far we can make it on this thing today. All charged up, got my extra batteries here, and of course, some camera equipment. And you can't leave uh, out a spare belt, some tools just to change your belt. Because I have broken a few uh, out and about. I've only broken one while I was actually riding. It's no big deal to change, but that belt made it like, like 700 miles or something like that. I just go until they break or whatever. So, so let's pack up everything and get out of here. So here's the app I'm gonna use. It's called DigiHUD because I don't have a, I don't have an iPhone. I have 18 miles on my last one. Push reset. There we go. Triple odometer zero, zero. Average speed zero. Max speed zero. So we'll keep track of this and see how far we get today. For the most part, I take side streets and stuff like that till I get on what's called the Centennial Trail around here. But right up here, I gotta get on one of the main roads, it's called Trent Avenue. Our city kind of sucks for bike lanes. But then I cut through the college and then I get on the bike lane and then the rest should be uh, pretty much bike lane and stuff like that. You can see a truck's coming up behind me to get on the same road. I guess there's a little bit of a bike lane here, but it runs out up here and then I gotta get on the sidewalk. As you can hear, it sucks. Go now. We're gonna cut down through the college. This is where the ride starts getting a lot better. Do you guys see that little golf cart? That was campus security. I definitely thought they're gonna say something to me about boosting through there, but they didn't. But here we go. Now we're on the bike route. So we'll go up here a little bit and I'll stop and uh, we'll do an update on the miles and see how far I've gone. We'll check my battery level and all that. Okay, this looks like a good place to check. Let's pull up the old app here. Okay. Can you see that? 6.1 miles, my average. Average speed, 15, top speed, I think 26. 26, Let's see how much battery I have left. Oh, look at that. I haven't even used half my battery yet, and I'm 6.1 miles in.
we don't have any bike lanes downtown, so you just kind of got to make your way the best that you can and hope you don't get hit. Had a close call just back there. That's all right. So find a place to pull over, check the battery, mileage again. Then I got to figure out how to get to the uh, Fish Lake Trail. I've never been there before, but I heard it's pretty cool. Oh, here looks like a good spot. Here, we'll just turn in here. By the sushi place. All right, let's see where we're at. We're at 7.9 miles so far. Let's check the battery. Hard to tell, there you go. I got one and a half bars left. And then usually when those wear out, the, the stock battery wears out, it just goes off those uh, those external batteries and I got another pair with me. So we still got quite a ways to go. So now I'm gonna look up, see where I gotta hit the trailhead at. Made it. And here's where we are now. So I'm here. We're gonna see how far out we can go before I lose my first battery. And there's all the way to the lake. We haven't gotten much further from the last time I checked in. But we might as well take a look. 10.2. And we'll check the battery on the boosted board. Blinking one light. So with that on there, I went twice what I would normally get when I ride in pro mode. And my average speed, average speed was 14 miles an hour. I've slowed down a little bit. I was going through downtown and stuff like that, but still average speed 14, that's not bad, that's not bad. So anyways, this looks like a pretty good place to That was fun. And we will definitely get a little more footage of that once we get in the trail. I heard that there's some really neat stuff inside there, down this trail. So we'll get in there and we'll look at that. I just wanted to get a quick shot, kind of downtown and stuff like that. So I will get this all put away and we'll get back on the trail. Boy, when I started out, look at that hair. <laughs> when I started out today, it was cloudy and chilly. It's actually really sunny and it's warmed up a bit. A little windy, but it's not bad. So that's about five miles in from where we started on the Fish Lake or Fish uh, Fish Lake Trail. So let's check the app and see how far. So I've gone 15.4 miles, and I haven't changed batteries yet. I'm still on the original uh, external batteries that I put on. But now that I've gone 15.4, that's how far away I am from my house. So I think it'd be a good idea. Here, let's get a little better light. Be a good idea if I turn around right here. And start making my way back that way hopefully I don't have to stop and charge anywhere but I have used up all the boosted battery and you guys don't have to worry about it or doing any damage the BMS will control everything you guys want to know more about that stuff you know I'm just doing this just for uh, so you guys can see what it does if you want to know all the ins and outs and all the technical stuff like that go to a portable power vehicles I'll put a link in the description below and uh, check out all Vitaly's videos he's the one who made this for me and stuff great guy Super helpful if you have questions. This is a very, very easy mod to do to your boosted board. Yes, does it void your warranty? Yep. Oh well. So, to me the range was, was worth the risk and like I said, I don't, the warranty was a year. I voided it, but I've got eight, over 830 miles, no problems. So, let's start heading back. <laughs> 